Hey everyone, I'm Liz Merrick. Welcome back to The Sugar Geek Show. Today, we're going to be learning all about how to get that shiny glaze on top of your cookies using something called royal icing. Royal icing is super simple to make and yet it confuses so many people, myself included. I just recently learned how to make the perfect royal icing and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so when we're making royal icing for cookies, you actually start off with a super thick royal icing and then you make it thinner depending on what you're gonna use it for. So let's go ahead and put that together. We're gonna take our powdered sugar, sifted, place it into our big mixing bowl, and then we're gonna take our cream of tartar, just mix it together a little bit, and then we're gonna add in our egg whites. I'm using pasteurized egg whites, so you don't have to worry about them not being cooked or anything like that. We're gonna use our whisk. Hopefully this doesn't poof up and get in my face. We're gonna go on low just to get it going. I'm just gonna let the egg whites absorb all of the powdered sugar. Just quickly scrape the powdered sugar that's kind of at the bottom of the bowl and on the sides just to make sure it's all getting we just, our goal is to avoid lumps. No lumps. A little bit stickier. So now we're going to bump this up to high and we're going to let it mix until it looks white. Usually takes a couple minutes. Okay, so this looks pretty white to me and it's very, very, it's very, very thick. It's like a super stiff icing. This is like what you would use to put together gingerbread houses. Like it's very, very thick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my teaspoon of vanilla extract. You could also use almond or orange or lemon or even peppermint, depending on what flavor cookie you're making. nice and white. I think that's going to be ready to go. Okay, so from this really thick and sturdy royal icing, we are going to make our three icings for three different things. Outlining, top coating, and flooding. I know that sounds super stressful, but I promise it's very easy. So we need about a cup of icing in each bowl. We're just gonna eyeball it. Okay, so we have obviously more than a cup of icing in each one of these bowls, but we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna do it live. Always wanna keep your royal icing covered. Don't want it to get all crusty and gross. AKA lumpy. Okay, so we're gonna make our outline royal icing first. We start with about a half a teaspoon of water. And we're gonna mix. Now what we're looking for is this to kind of fall off the spoon in a blob. It's still a little thick. It's really holding on to that. So let's add like a quarter of a teaspoon. Ooh. That's still holding on pretty well. So I'm gonna add just a couple more drops. That's pretty good. That was about one teaspoon of water, and that made that about perfect. So we're going to cover this with some plastic wrap so that it doesn't dry out or get crusty. So now we have our royal icing that we're gonna use for just putting on top of our cookie. All right, so now we're gonna start off with a full teaspoon. Mix that in. Definitely still too thick. It's in the globby stage, which makes sense because we added about a teaspoon. So now we're gonna add in a quarter of a teaspoon. Start there. Still pretty thick. Oops. 
What we're looking for is for this royal icing to come off my spoon in kind of like a ribbon. You're gonna know so much about royal icing after this video. <laughs> Not quite. Now we're up to two teaspoons. I think it's better to tell you what you're looking for rather than just give you exact measurements because depending on how thick your egg whites are and you know, like the humidity in the air, like all that stuff will affect the royal icing. So it's better for you to know what your goal is and adjust your, your water for the ratios rather than just be like, I followed your exact measurements and it didn't work out right. You suck. <laughs> Okay, so this is looking pretty good here. Pretty good ribbon. You see how it's just kind of sitting on top of the um, surface though? It's not really sinking in. So I'm gonna add one more. This is also called 15 second icing, meaning that when the ribbon hits the top of the surface of the royal icing, it takes 15 seconds for it to sink down into the other icing and look flat again. There we go. Okay. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Woo woo! Oh, and then we made this. <laughs> So this is the royal icing that we're gonna use to just put on top of our cookies with no piping tip and just kind of scooch it around to where we want it to be. So if you're a super beginner and you're really intimidated about using tips or anything like that, this is the one that you want. Our last one, we're gonna do our flooding icing. So we're gonna start off with two teaspoons. So let's give this a test. For this one, we're looking for that same ribbon stage, but we want it to sink down into itself in about five to eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First try. All right, that was done. Let's ice some cookies. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's start with the royal icing that just goes on top of the cookie because I feel like that's the easiest. If you're a beginner, this is all you need to do, right? Okay, so we're gonna take our royal icing and we're just gonna bloop, bloop, bloop. Don't wanna put too much on there, obviously. And I'm just gonna take my little spoon and push it around. And I don't really feel like it needs to be perfect because the whole point of this is just to get some royal icing on there. It looks yummy. You can put sprinkles on it now. You could color it. I mean, that's it. Don't you think that's easy? And then you'll have like a couple of little, you know, bumps on there. Just go like this. And you might have a little, a little bubble, which I do. You can take a toothpick or you can use one of these fancy schmancy uh, scribe sticks. I don't know what it's called. And you just give it a little shake. Okay, our bubbles are gone. Yay! Ooh, so shiny. Okay, now let's have some fun. Let's make some royal icing rainbow colored. So I have seven little bowls here and I'm going to color each one with a little bit, a little bit of food coloring. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Oh, I have two greens. <laughs> All right, so I have my red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Don't wanna add very much, like a drop. drop. If you add too much color, it's just going to make the icing too loose. This is literally every spoon that I own. So now we're going to flood our cookies. I just feel like you shouldn't worry about it being so perfect. The more important thing is that you have fun. And if you're super stressed about making your cookies when you're learning, you'll never want to make them again. And that's not good. Set those aside. And now I'm going to put my roll icing, roll, 
I'm gonna put my royal icing into some piping bags and I'm not gonna even use a tip. I'm just gonna cut off a small amount. I'm making wet on wet flooded cookies. I'm a little scared. All right, start with our red. And you can shake it back and forth. push it around anywhere. This is very shiny. All right, let's do another one. <laughs> Rainbow! That one went a lot better. All right, now let's talk about some other things that you can do with the flooding icing. You can do some wet on wet decorations. That's super fun. White flooding icing. Imagine there is a spiral going around your cookie, right? And then you take your scribe and you just go on the outside through each dot. Ooh. Okay, so our last one, let's do blue and purple. So Another thing you can do is do some outlines in alternating colors. And then you can take your scribe and you can like go from the center and pull outwards. We're so fancy. Ta da! <laughs> and then, if you have some edible disco dust, you can make it shiny. Boom! Disco dust everywhere. So that's it guys. Aren't you so excited to make your own cookies now that you know everything about royal icing? Hopefully this video has taken the fear out of making royal icing and you can make some beautiful glazed cookies. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down there in the comments. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye. Hey everyone, Liz from The Sugar Geek Show. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and don't forget to ding the bell so you get a notification every time I make a new video or recipe. New tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks for watching, bye.